why I'm laying on the floor. I don't have an answer for that either. But the topic of today's video is I have a lot of AK AV cables here. So if anybody has a splitter, please send it to me. But um yeah, the topic of today's video is VHS tapes, you know? It's it's good. Ugh, excuse me, it's good stuff. But um yeah, VHS tapes. Um, I love VHS tapes, give me a time of nostalgia for my life, but if I could get this thing out, got some Galaxy, Galaxy Express 999 here, it's the second dub of the movie, good stuff, definitely good stuff, um, yeah, VHS tapes, Ugh. let's go over here. It's my very, uh, why is there a copy of Secret of Nim over here? But, um, got my very modest VHS collection right here. Ugh, let me get this fucking thing open. Ugh. Oh, is it, it ain't gonna budge. Oh, I guess it can, but, yeah, I got a very modest VHS collection here. But, um, yeah, that's the topic of today's video is VHS tapes are they an outdated media absolutely but are they a loved media for me yes um I know I'm just babbling like an idiot here but uh that's what I can do on this extra channel I can afford to take risks because this channel only has like 30 subscribers so you know I'm not losing much in the way of uh whatever so um yeah that's just the topic of today's video wow i did like a two minute introduction of me saying absolutely nothing but yeah that's the topic of today's video is vhs tapes now i had an idea that i got inspired from watching a great guy named black metal gamer so i watched a couple of black metal gamers reviews on retro games where he was you know he was doing something completely different um, he used an app on his phone to put an overlay to make the the videos look like a VHS tape it had the play thing and then it had like June 666 or whatever on there and I thought that was a really really great idea cuz you know, I seen his, uh, or I saw his, um, uh, his review of Little Samson or whatever, and, uh, you know, this guy was giving him trash over everything. I thought that was a great video. Definitely very entertaining. Um, but he had this great idea of doing this, like, weird overlay thing. And it gives you such a great sense of the time these games were made. And that's kind of one of the things VHS tapes do. They give you a sense of the time um, that the movies were made. And one of the last movies on VHS, I forget what it was. It was like in 2005. So that's a media that went from, you know, all the way from, uh, like, uh, what was it, the 1980s to... 2005 so that's that's a very you know beloved media and it's part of American culture almost pop culture always refers to these like VHS tapes and stuff I wonder what happened to Betamax that never really went anywhere but Betamax is definitely really awesome but um and laser discs too laser discs are cool but um yeah, these these VHS tapes they're they're a symbol of, you know, America and um they're beloved in pop culture. And they give you a sense of the time. And uh that's where I came up with this idea based on what Black Metal Gamer was doing to tape all of my game footage on VHS tapes. And then once I tape it on VHS 
to take a capture card like a Dazzle DVC, you know, 170. That's the one I'm going to be getting. Um, and then tape it on that. And then just, you know, put it in the editor for the review and everything. That'd be pretty, pretty cool. Um, the VHS tapes, they give you a sense of time. Uh, they they give you that feel, of that retro look, and that's what I like about them. So, uh, taping retro games on a VHS tape, it's like a it's like a no brainer, you know. Um, and I thought that would it wouldn't be the best quality for the reviews, but it would be kind of a unique thing that not very many people are doing. You don't see very many people, you know, capturing on VHS media. Um, and it's easier for me to do that, you know? I have to go through all of this different stuff to set up either a camera to record the game and have me talk, or to set up this huge capture card and all these different programs and stuff to record this game footage when all I really need to do is just set up a VHS tape like in the old days when I used to use VHS tapes to record games. Uh, whenever... So here's the story behind that. Uh, whenever um, I was doing good in a game, or whenever I was getting to somewhere I thought I'd never get to, I was so I was so proud about it, and I would record that moment on a VHS tape, like a game that I'd think of uh, Turok Three, for example. I there was this one part that was so difficult for me that I just recorded it on VHS because I was so proud I got past it. And uh, it was easy for me to record on VHS because I was calm about it. I, I didn't have to go through all this stress, this huge production to record the stuff. And when I did get through with that, I played badly because it's like when I talk on a camera I'm always this like kinda always thinking about you know looking good and everything I'm so concerned with that on camera and uh, it makes the video quality bad so when I record on a VHS tape I don't have to go through all this stuff just to play badly when I get a VHS tape out and then insert it in there I'm gonna play just fine you know, I play like normal, because it's not like I have a bunch of cameras pointed in my face like, Oh, I gotta do good now! You know, it's not anything like that. You know, it's just normal. It's just playing normal. And so, that's one of the things that makes recording footage on VHS easier. You don't have to worry about having this big production just to play badly, because I play better when recording on VHS or a DVD. Um, which, uh, VHS's are cheaper, so I, you know, it's better like that, and it gives you, like I said, that retro feel. So, it gives you more personality with your channel. It's easier for me to record and everything. So that's what I'm probably going to do from here on out when I, whenever I get my DVC-107, or 170. That would work better for me. And, um... I'm really excited about starting to record my own footage. It's a nice VCR here, but I need to upgrade it at some point. One that has S-Video. An S-Video VCR would definitely be a lot better, because uh, I can put my S-Video into it. Like, uh, over here, I got this monster cable for the GameCube. This purple cable right here is, uh, it gives some of the best signal that you'll get out of a GameCube N64 or Super Nintendo without having to pay like hundreds of dollars. You know, this is one of the best cables you can get for those systems, uh, especially the N64 and GameCube, because an HDMI for the N64 costs so much money, and a... Uh, component cable for the GameCube costs so much money so you know using that is way easier it's a, it's a lot more cost effective and it gives you a better signal so I need to get a S-Video VCR and then that way I can record my footage uh, in S-Video I need to get some S-Video switchers as well because that switch box is out of commission 
right now and uh, I need a switch box because you look over there you see all those cables and stuff I got even more behind there so you know it's uh I need some I need to upgrade my cables for one to S video I need some S video switch boxes and I need an S video VCR and I need to get the Davisol DVC and then I can you know do better quality um, reviews because I'll actually be using my own footage instead of using stuff I got off the internet and um, I can actually better express my own authentic reactions to the game from the script if I'm using my own footage without having to sit here and tape the screen which looks okay but it's not something I want to do um, taping the screen with this camera specifically is okay it looks fine but um, it's not something I particularly want to do it's too much hassle and I end up playing badly whereas with a VCR tape it's easier so you know I'd better record footage like that and the other thing is um, you know it gives you that sense of time so it give it would give my channel more personality which I like so um, yeah I just I'd just be trying to work around with that and just kinda you know do more stuff with that I don't know if this is either a vlog or an into the game room episode because I have been walking around a bunch showing you all kinds of different stuff in here which speaking of stuff the NES collection is booming it looks it looks um you know looks very nice it got about 30 games here you know looks nice but I can't play the games because my NES is out of commission no matter what I do nothing will play good so I need to get a blinking light win for that I'm just cheap and I don't have money so um yeah I need to work on doing that so um yeah this is just kind of my setup right now I'm gonna get a better setup over time but you know so much stuff you gotta do you know there's a lot of different stuff just for having this this channel and uh, I'm I'm working on getting I'm working on getting things better and things like that. But did you ever notice I got stars up here from the person who used to have this room? There are still stars up there, but um, yeah, I'm just kind of working on getting this channel back up and running and um, doing different stuff like that. So there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes um, there's there's so much stuff you know and uh, it's uh, it's a lot of fun to do these videos at, at times but you know there's a lot of stuff that goes into stuff like that so um yeah this is just a rambling video but I can do that on this channel because this is my second channel, Ultra Extreme Bombastic Game Room number two, so I can do whatever I, whatever the heck I want. And you know, this is a good experiment for me getting better at talking at the camera, and it's a good experiment for me uh, getting better at, uh, you know, videos and stuff like that. So I'll see you all later. You know, like for VHS. Say yes to VHS. And I'll see you all later. If this camera would would turn off the video, because I'm pressing the touch screen, but it ain't working. And I'm not going to edit this. So, ah, Stupid thing. Maybe if I just like... Oh, 